Hello there students, welcome back. So this question is from gate 2015 exam. It's for two marks. They're saying find the total number of prime implicants in this function f. You can see they have specified all the min terms of f. That means at all these inputs, the output of function is one. Let's write it in the K map. So 0, 2, 4, 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay. 5, 0, 2, 4, 5, then we have 6 and 10, 5, then 6 will be here, 7, 8, 9, 10, so 10 will be here, okay. So I filled the K map, that means all these inputs, all these cells will have an output of 1. Now let's try to find out the prime implicants. So let's start from here, to group this one, you can see we can form a group of 2, okay. And we always want the biggest group. This one is the biggest possible group. Because after 2, we have a group of 4. But group of 4 is not possible here because this uh, cell is empty. Okay. Now let's try to group this one. You can see, we can either have a group of 2 or we can have a group of 4. So why not go for a group of 4? Okay. That means 1, 2, 3, 4. All these cells are grouped. Now only this one is left. You can see it has to be grouped like this. So they were asking the total number of prime implicants. You can see there are three prime implicants. Answer to this question is 3. Okay. 1. That means these two are grouped. 1 prime implicant. 1, 2, 3, 4. These 4 are grouped 1 prime implicant and there is another 1 prime implicant. So total are 3. Okay.